Hi everyone, this is just a short video on how to um, buy and set up a node if you're interested in doing that. Um, I'm assuming that you've already got a, an account set up, just the free registration account. If you've not, then there's a link below this video. You do just need to make sure you've got a free Gala Games account first of all. So if you've not done that, then go ahead and make sure that you take note of your login details, particularly the key phrase. You won't ever get given that again when you get your Gala wallet. So just make sure that you've got um, a good note of that and you need to make sure you keep it somewhere safe as well. So once you've uh, registered your, your account and you log in, then um, you can see this Get Gala tab here uh, that I'm in now. And there's different ways that you can get Gala. You can either buy it on an exchange or you can obviously um, introduce people, which I highly recommend if you go under the social tab you get your link that way you can refer people uh, and that's a great way of doing it if you refer a node only you can get some great rewards uh, but even if people just play the game um, through your introduction you can earn coins as well but this is what I want to show you is get a node so let's click on that now uh, the best way to do it I think is to use ethereum um, so if you click, all I've done is just actually click on that word Gala and it brings up different options. You can pay with BAT, you can buy Gala, but buying Gala means you've got to go to different places to convert your Ethereum into Gala and so on and then send it over. But if, you, if you've just got some Ethereum, then you can just um, click Ethereum. I'm going to show you the process of getting the Ethereum in a moment. But first of all, if you just click on Buy Now, it shows you the exact Ethereum uh, price that you need. So this is the amount of Ethereum that you uh, need in order to um, actually make the purchase. You've also got uh, a small amount of fees. You're also going to need a little bit extra to pay gas fees to actually withdraw your um, funds. So uh, the the node pays um, a high number of coins, um, but they're not drawn to your wallet until you pay the gas fees. So I let them accrue in my wallet, um, or, or at least in my Gala Games account, and then I just once a month or so, I'm just intending to just withdraw um, a large amount of coins, really, rather than you certainly wouldn't want to withdraw daily because the gas fees would be so high. So you need to at least transfer uh, enough to cover all fees. So that's the total there, including the current fees. But then you'll have a, a small fee for sending your transaction over to your Gala Games account. And you'll need a little bit extra in your account just for, for covering gas fees. If you send over something like $100 worth of, it, of additional Ethereum, that should cover all costs and have plenty of gas fees for several uh, withdrawals of coins to your wallet. So you don't need to send thousands, but I'm probably gonna send about $100 extra over to my Gala Games account. So now that I've got this amount in mind, uh, like I said, I'm just gonna add $100 worth onto this total. Then I'm gonna go over to my, um, my Coinbase account. So um, you need to send from um, either Coinbase or Binance or wherever you've, you've actually got your cryptocurrency. Um, you can buy from a number of different exchanges. It doesn't matter. Um, I like um, Coinbase. I've never had any problems with them. Uh, I find them to be reliable, um, but it doesn't really matter where you send them from. The important thing is that you need to make sure you send it to the right place. So before I go over there, what I also need to do is if I click buy now, it's going to tell me that I've not got enough Ethereum and I need to receive some funds. So if I click receive funds, uh, then it's here is, is the address that I need. So this is the address to send my funds to. Okay, obviously yours uh, will be different. So you just want to copy that address. Okay, click that to copy. Okay. Now, if I go over to my Coinbase account, all I need to do is select Ethereum and select send. And then from there, I just need to um, paste the wallet address that I've just copied here and send a little bit extra 4.87 or whatever it will be, uh, will be sent over to this wallet. So I'm just going to do that very, very quickly now. Okay, so I sent the funds from Coinbase and um, I left it for about 10 minutes and the funds have now arrived. So if I just, I'm just back at the uh, node screen, if I just click that and click Ethereum and then buy now. Okay, so now it's asking for my transaction code. So that's why it's important to make sure you've got these handy. So I'm just going to type in my transaction code. And there you go, it's gone straight through. So congratulations, once your transaction is confirmed on the blockchain, which will take a few minutes, you'll be able to download your Gala node software, which is the next process, which we'll go through. Um, at that time, you'll receive an email with download instructions. Okay, so perfect. So you're going to want to keep an eye on your um, email and the step-by-step, -step, but just in case you don't get the email um, or you ever just misplace that email or whatever, basically what you need to do is you just go to, um, here in the top right-hand corner and you go to account and then node info. 
okay? And then from node info here, when your node is registered, this page here will change to show you um, the different options of Windows, Mac, and I think Ubuntu is the other one. So um, um, what I'm gonna do is I'll just pause it while this updates on the blockchain, and then I'll show you how to set up the software. It's literally just a couple of clicks away now, and we're up and running, so it's all nice and straightforward. But I'm just gonna pause it uh, for a moment. Okay, so a few minutes have passed and now uh, my node has registered. So um, this is where it says uh, you have one node license. So I can download this for Windows here. You can see at the bottom left, it's starting to download the actual software. It just takes a few moments. If you're um, running a VPS, at this point, what you want to do is you want to log on to your VPS and then log into your apps.galagames account so that you do all of this on your VPS. Um, you don't really want to be doing this on your local computer to then, you know, obviously then transfer, have to transfer it all over to your VPS. So make sure you actually do these steps um, from the actual device that you want to run the node. Don't forget the node needs to be running for at least six hours a day. Um, I leave it running 24 seven just so um, I don't risk missing out on it. So once you've downloaded the software, you just need to click it and it'll just start the auto installer. It's a really simple, um, small piece of software that uh, won't take up much space at all. And then, um, so this is the actual node software now. So I just need to enter my um, login details, which is the same login details as your Gala Games account. So I'm just gonna do that now uh, real quick and log in. And once you log in, what you'll see is a few different options down the left-hand side here. So your dashboard gives you an overview of everything that's happened with the node. These are the uh, the items that are being dropped, um, like, a, like a ledger of them. You can just cl uh, click it over to My Items to see the items that you've got. Obviously, being a new node, you're not going to have any items yet, but once you do start to accrue items, those will start to show in this list here. Um, your network power gives you an indication of uh, what your system um, capabilities are and the uh, voting, there's no active polls at the moment, but this is where you would go to vote. So make sure you keep an eye on the blog so that you know what decisions need to be made by node holders and you'll get um, a vote here and you'll be able to see the results uh, from the dashboard as well. So you'll be able to tell straight away what's happening um, if, with particular votes. And then if you click on the treasure chest, that's where you'll go back to your actual Gala Games account and you'll be able to see the items that are in your uh, your actual uh, treasure chest as they drop each day. And if you just go back to the dashboard, on the right-hand side here, this is the, uh, this, like the six-hour um, timer here. So currently I've only just set this up, so I've got I'm no, no, 0% of uh, the way towards my six hours. But once my six hours of active running, actively running this software uh, has been completed, it will go to 100%. So you'll see that ticking up over time, and uh, you've got uh, information on your purchase licenses there. You can buy more nodes and things as well. If you do buy more nodes, just keep in mind you need to run them on separate systems. So, um, you know, it's one node per sort of device. So if you're running them on VPSs and you had three nodes, you'd need three separate VPSs. I'm uh, running one on a VPS and one on a PC. And that's pretty much it. So your node's up and running now and you'll start to accrue coins on a daily basis as part of the daily drop. And it's all nice and straightforward, really. So... So if you then go back to your Gala Games account, you don't really you need to check that this is running, but you don't need to do anything with it once it's up and running. Just just leave it to run. But then when you come to your account, if you go to this little world icon here, um, then this will show you like your daily drops of Gala, and it'll show you um, as well here your treasure chest. If I just go home as well, you can also locate it from here. So these are the items that are dropping into your your box. So you can see I've got some NFTs. Um, I've got um, some some rewards for people that are playing the game. So six people have played the game. That's why I've got um, 100 for each of those. And then daily distribution drops um, as well of Gala. So all of this starts to collect. And then, um, like I say, you don't want to be withdrawing this daily because the gas fees are quite high. Gas is basically just your fee, uh, your transfer fee uh, in Ethereum. So if I just select all of them, to, to send all of these to my, to my own wallet, um, it's going to cost me... $92 at the moment, so it's quite high. Now, the gas fees do go up and down depending on the uh, the strain on the network, so um, you can keep coming back and checking at the point when you're ready to withdraw. You might want to check it a few different times in the day just to see if you can get that down because um, that is high, but I'd expect to pay quite a bit less than that, to be honest, when the network is quiet. Um, so uh, I'm, uh, that my plan is just to withdraw very occasionally just to avoid um, high gas fees. So that's pretty much how it looks. Um, and uh, yeah, that's how to see what, what you're collecting. And you can log in each day and it will tell you up here. It'll give you a notification on, on what the drop's been and other items that have dropped in and things like that as well. 
So, yep, yeah, that's it for this video. Um, if you have any questions, then you, you're welcome to email me. I hope you found that helpful, and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.